Today you join me in the beautiful country of Sweden. We're in the city of Gothenburg to be more specific. And today we're going to spend some time exploring the city, seeing what's up. But I also want to take this time today to speak about one of my favourite lenses. This is a lens that has come with me to every country I've been to in the last year. And it's a lens that I recommend for every photographer and filmmaker. So uh, yeah, let's go. The lens in question is the 85mm lens. These are absolute beasts. Fast, sharp, and will take your content to the next level. I got my first 85mm lens like a couple of years back and honestly, my only regret with it was not getting one of these things earlier. So whilst I'm in uh, Gothenburg, I'm gonna be doing a couple of POVs. I think a night POV and a day POV. And uh, the good thing with today is just scouting out this city seeing what's going to be good to try and target with those videos but we just spotted this uh this street right here which this is going to look good i tell you this is going to look really good for some photography so um on to the uh, 85 now i use specifically this sigma 85 uh, f14 i've used this one for about a year or so now but it's worth mentioning if you're using sony if you're using canon if you're using Nikon, there are a lot of great different options in terms of 85mm lenses. I am going to leave a few linked in the description below so you can check out which one might work for you best. But it's more important just to think about the focal length itself because most lenses are going to deliver very similar results. owning this lens I have taken it to so many places I've brought it to Budapest I've taken it to London New York here and I've shot more POVs of it than I can actually count and the reason for that is I absolutely love the characteristics and the look this lens gives my photograph with an 85 you get some supreme separation between your subject and the background itself the reason for this is the combination of two things. The first one is the aperture. 85mm typically start either f1.4 or f1.8 and when used will give you some supreme shallow depth of field. On top of that, when you're using a longer focal length, a focal length that is more zoomed in, you're going to find that the background is going to have more compression. So naturally, when you combine a large aperture number and a more zoomed in focal length, that is when you're going to see some crazy depth to your images. Two final things to mention here as well, 85mm lenses, and this goes with pretty much all prime lenses, ridiculously sharp and also, especially with the 85, you can get some delicious big bokeh balls. <laughs> this part of Gothenburg as well, this is uh, definitely the city centre area. This is so nice. Like We've got really nice like building architecture going on, some real nice structures, tons of trams and if you know me, I'm a bit addicted to trams. I do have a problem and I promise I will see someone and of course it's really busy. So for street photography this is, oh the light's going, this is going to be great. Now on this trip I'm also joined by an American and his name is Kyle Wops. What's up guys? I like your opinion on the 85 because you, reci you yeah. recently got one didn't you? When did you yeah, get yours? Um, well, I, I've been testing out 85s for a while. I was using the G Master for a while which is a really expensive version of those lenses. Um, I'm now currently on the Battis 85 which is uh, less expensive and this actually stabilized so that's why I like this one a lot. Uh, but 85 is such an awesome focal length because when you're shooting video, uh, especially depending on how far you are from a subject, it almost looks like a movie. The look that you get on this with that 1.4 or 1.8 yeah. is almost like the look of like zooming into 200 on the 70 to 200. I agree. At 2.8 where you get that crazy bokeh background. It's, uh, it's a great, great lens. And I think a lot of photographers, other YouTubers, content creators would recommend it for that reason. It's so good 
for so many different subject scenarios and that's actually going to bring me on perfectly to my next two points but first i think we should uh, get a bit more exploring done get some more photos to show you the photo capabilities of these kind of lenses Five mils are not just for portrait photography. It's a common misconception with this focal length. And honestly, it's the reason that put me off buying one of these things for the longest time possible. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know I don't shoot portrait photography at all. So I thought this focal length would be wasted on me. However, once I started shooting one of these things, that's when my whole perspective on this focal length changed completely because I figured out and found out the hard way that this is a lens that is good for so much more. I've used this thing for car photography, I've used it for product photography, I've used it for landscape photography and then of course I've used it for street photography. Now with street photography it's commonly known that 35 is a go-to but for me there's something special about the 85. It gives me a different kind of look and I really don't think it actually matters what kind of lens you use when you do street photography. 35, 85, but for me, I'd choose this over a 35 any day of the week. An 85 mil is also a super portable lens. These things usually don't weigh that much and don't take up a massive footprint up in your camera bag. And this is great because usually the more zoomed in your lens is, the more it weighs, the heavier it is, and the more of a burden it can be on your back if you're shooting for a full day. Sometimes I'll actually bring the 85 over something like the 70 to 200 because, well, one, look at the size difference and also the weight of this lens, as good as it is, this is sometimes just easier to carry about with me. So that's why I actually think this lens hits that sweet spot perfectly. I find when I'm using a zoom lens, it's super easy to get into the habit of just standing in one spot and zooming in and out with your lens. This is why I like shooting with prime lenses because it makes you think in focal lengths. It makes yourself zoom with your feet to get better compositions. And I find from doing that strategy, shooting with prime lenses, it means I'm more creative. I look for different angles. I know what kind of shots I can achieve with an 85 mil if I just walk instead of just zooming in and out with a lens. And this I think makes you in a way a better photographer if you get me because you get enough practice with a focal length you then know eventually with a lot of practice how to go out of it and how to achieve those absolute bangers All right, so we kept the tradition going. We have got a hat from Sweden. If you're new here and you don't know the tradition, basically, anytime I visit a new country, I have to get a hat from that country that says something about the country itself. So uh, I'm digging the uh, black look of this one. I think it's a, uh, a good vibe. And speaking of things that I vibe, it's 85 mil lens, all right? This focal length, I just highly recommend it to any photographer, any filmmaker, you need one of these in your camera bag. And uh, yeah, that's all I've really got left to say about the focal length. If I've missed anything or you've got anything to add, let me know in the comment section below. It'll be great to hear your thoughts on the 85 mil focal length as well. And yeah, that's where I'm gonna be leaving today's video from Gothenburg. I have got one more video coming and it is a POV from the streets of Gothenburg. It is a fantastic one, a lot of great photographs. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn on the bell icon to be notified for whenever I release a new video. And I've also got a ton of other projects lined up, which I can't wait to share. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of them as well. But with all that said and done, until next time guys, create, explore, and inspire. And I'll see you in the next one. Laters.